Hi, I'm Megan Amram. I love science, but I also love looking good. I went to Harvard. Let's begin. Science. Ooh, sexy. Don't get sexy just science. Love it. Ooh, sexy. Today, we're gonna look at our cheek cells under a microscope. All you need are some microscope slides, a microscope, a chemical called methylene blue, and a Q-tip. Take your Q-tip, just get it right inside your mouth. Q-tips are delicious and are a natural appetite suppressant. So I'm gonna need like more of these. It feels so good. It's basically like eating a cloud. So you're gonna take out the Q-tips and you're gonna take a fun little microscope slide and you're gonna just smear all of them on the slide. You're gonna take a little bit of methyl blue, put it under the microscope, and look at all those cells. It is so ugly chic, just like H&M. To help us talk a little more about atoms and microscopes, we're gonna talk to some real life atoms. Come on out here, boys. Here we have Adam Shankman, Adam Pally, and an intern that we made legally change his name to Adam to be on the show. Which are hotter, atoms or atoms? Well, I think atoms are hotter because atoms, like me, are real warm-blooded American people. How about you, Adam Pally? I think that atoms are hotter because they actually make up anything that would be considered hot in the first place. And how about you, intern Adam? Well... All right, thank you very much. Now, to solve this debate once and for all, I'm gonna hold up pictures of famous atoms or atoms, and you're gonna say hot or not. First picture. That atom is so hot. Here we have Adam Levine. I think that Adam Levine is a good looking guy, but that the atoms that make him up are probably better looking. Oh, this one is fun. Yeah. Hot. You look like a potato who got like his senior photo taken. I've always thought that real atoms have curves. Megan, the intern is like breathing really heavy. What are you doing? Personally. Please stop talking. You know I went to Harvard, right? I went to Harvard. We all went to Harvard. Hi. Are you someone's crazy ex here to kill me? No, I'm Nicole younger Oh, yes. I'm training as a yes. physicist at Caltech. Nicole, yes, you're Nicole. I invited you on here. Do you want me to, like, sign that for you? No, I think I'm okay. Thanks, Adam. Okay. Sexy science. Thank you so much for being here, Nicole. Thank you for having me. You're a PhD student at Caltech who works on quantum information theory. What is the information? And do you ever say too much information? Never. That's why you have this show, right? Because yeah. you love learning. It's just enough information. J-E-I. What is quantum information theory? Quantum systems tend to be very small systems, yes. like atoms and electrons. They behave in ways that are very different from the ways that you and I and things like tables and chairs that are larger behave. Yeah, just the way that, like, I don't understand men. Well, at least we have some chance of understanding quantum mechanics. Now, you once did a TED Talk about linear algebra. How does linear algebra play into my day-to-day -day life? Math can describe so much of the world around us. Yes. That's what we do with theoretical physics. We describe much of the world in terms of math, to solve problems, model our universe, and see what else we can learn about it and what else we can create. So we do a lot of that using tools like linear algebra. That's beautiful. Thank you. Do you use chalkboards? Yes. Do you know about iPhones? I know about iPhones. What about Droid phones? I've heard of them. Samsung phones? Heard of those too. So you're like really into phones? Not a whole lot. But quantum um, mechanics has contributed to phones. Oh Cell my, phones. that's what's in that. You're like blowing my mind. How does quantum theory predict the electricity that I feel when I see Chris Hemsworth without his shirt on? So if you're interested in electricity, so charges moving around, yes. then you might be interested in superconductivity, which is a quantum phenomenon and is being used to build quantum computers. The electricity never stops flowing. And finally, could your research help me time travel to a time before my ex made out with my sister? And if so, uh, where do I sign up? 
I have not heard of that application yet, okay. but if you discover such an application, let me know. And you don't get discouraged either. I think you're right on the brink of figuring this out. I appreciate your confidence in me. We'll yes. see what happens. Thank you so much, Nicole. This has been so fantastic. This was Experimenting with Megan Amram. We'll see you again next time. And until we meet again, remember, I went to Harvard. Science. Ooh, sexy. Thank you for watching Experimenting with Megan Amram. To watch more, click here. To subscribe to Smart Girls, click here. You've already clicked here. Oh my god, I love you guys. <laughs>